Hey gurus, Mark here, uh, coming to you from AWS reInvent 2017. It's been a jam-packed week, um, lots of stuff going on, uh, lots of stuff to keep track of. I'm here with Sanjay from A Cloud Guru. He is your big data guru. You recognize him, you know the voice, you know the face from the big data specialty. Um, one of the hardest exams in the um, repertoire, also one of the coolest new stickers available that we saw here at AWS reInvent 2017. Sanjay, lots of great big data stuff going on um, this year seemed like uh, last year was a lot of cutting-edge announcements this year was taking those announcements and services to the next level um, let's start dive right into it and start with Aurora um, we saw the announcement for Aurora for multi-master a lot of folks kind of saw that and went huh can you break it down for us yeah absolutely so one of the big things about Aurora multi-master is going to be that if you have an outage in your if you're running single master and you have an outage there's a 30 second sort of blip to uh, recover from that. Okay. What Multimaster does is reduce that significantly, and so what this directly com can compete against is Rack. So, mm -hmm. you know, I love to relate new services to problems in the field Perfect. and what I've experienced. So, working with customers who deploy Rack, and if they want to move to AWS, they always have uh, reservations as to, well, it doesn't run on AWS, mm -hmm. but I need Rack. Why do you need it? They usually don't know, but it makes things very, very difficult to to progress. Well, mm -hmm. now we can have a better conversation mm -hmm. or you can actually try it out and see how that works out for you. So that's particularly exciting for me. And then the biggest benefit is reducing cost from getting away from Oracle mm -hmm. to going to something like Aurora. So now you've been able to add, we know Aurora came out of the gate, strong performance, um, great availability and durability, um, really low cost. Seems like this was sort of the last piece of the puzzle to complete uh, to compete with things like Rack because now you've got that multiple master, multiple region. Um, is there a way to take one of these databases down? Um, well, we'll just have to see um, and uh, run it at scale and see what happens. Fantastic. So, you know, when you leave reInvent, you leave with all these cloud toys mm -hmm. and uh, ready to get back home and start working on some of this stuff. Great. So yeah. Aurora, uh, more of a traditional relational database system, um, right. you know, with that Postgres compatibility, with the MySQL compatibility. Um, what about its um, sibling, um, DynamoDB? We saw some key announcements for Dynamo. Can you walk right. us through those? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So DynamoDB Global Tables. This is a really big one. So if you've ever lived through a DynamoDB outage, it, and there haven't been many uh, in my sort of six-year AWS career, mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, I can only remember one, and it was okay. big. So if you're in the middle of it, whether you're a customer or helping a customer, that can be, it can be pretty painful. Mm -hmm. So this is something that will help with that. Okay. And, and of course, I want to test that as well. For sure. Yeah. So it seems like this is um, uh, an officially blessed feature that gets away from that, um, I won't say hack, but that pattern of using streams to copy things right. um, in the background. This seems a much easier, just enable it and you're good. Absolutely. Fantastic. I know a lot of people struggle with that. Um, it's an additional set of operations in a service where it's managed that you don't have that many operations. So one less thing to do, always a win. Um, now we talked relational database, we talked uh, Dynamo, which is a, more of a newer style. We got a brand new type of database to a lot of folks um, in Neptune. Yeah. Can you walk us through what Amazon Neptune is and why it's important? Yeah, absolutely. Amazon Neptune is a graph database. So rather than running your own on an EC2 instance or more and create some kind of a cluster, mm -hmm. it can now be run for you. So backups, multi-AZ um, is all set up for you. So that makes things a lot more convenient for developers. Okay, so with those new announcements, we've got um, world-class relational database with Aurora, and we've got a NoSQL or modernized database with DynamoDB, and we've got a modern uh, implementation and managed version of a graph database with Amazon Neptune. Um, we saw a bit uh, adjacent to that, an upgrade to Kinesis. What's the new Kinesis feature? Um, it's the new Kinesis video streams service, mm -hmm. which is pretty exciting. So now you can, you know, you've got uh, so many devices out there, whether it's, uh, home usage, traffic, um, security cameras. There's so much out there, so now you can stream all that video into um, AWS oh, nice. and be able to index some of that data and actually make use of that data. And there's, some, there's so many use cases where this can be used. 
For sure. And then you get all that power of kinesis as well, the ability right. to hook events and do processing as it's incoming, um, and then shove it into your database of choice, right? Right. Um, okay. Uh, maybe a little bit of an out there question, um, but you've got so much practical hands-on experience. Right. You deal with data at a scale that a lot of people don't ever get to. Um, what is your, uh, either at the show or before the show, sort of most boring but useful um, features or services that you saw? Yeah, absolutely. So there's some pre-reInvent announcement mm -hmm. that may not be as exciting, but they're very important, especially, again, if you're out there in the field. Yeah. Um, so one is Kerberos authentication okay. with the AMR. So prior to enabling it within the AMR console or the API, you sort of had to bootstrap Kerberos. Mm -hmm. um, and, that was, and that was more of a, a hack, and you, know, you could find it on a blog, yep. um, and it wouldn't work as well. So if you lose a node, um, you're going to break um, sort of that Kerberos uh, chain. Yep. So this is more of an official release okay. um, that you can use with speci specifically uh, PCI-enabled applications. So are you supposed to see the data you, you know, you're allowed to see? Yes. And that will help you. So now you can run this on EMR. Um, and again, this is again a story from the field where yep. you know, a customer will say, I can't run EMR because um, Kerberos is kind of quirky on it and I don't want to have to deal with that. For sure. um, so that is really big okay. and something from your world too. Yeah, and I, was, I would yeah. just say as a security professional, anytime you use the word authentication, quirky, flaky, hack, and jury rig all together, this is a bad thing to be doing. So to have it right. officially supported, um, to be um, you know, full support, fully enabled by AWS is, is critical for enterprises. Um, and while it may not be exciting, um, it does enable it. And you use, um, you, know, you mentioned PCI compliance. Right. And I know um, around a service that doesn't get used often enough, there's been some new changes around uh, AWS or Amazon QuickSight. Right. Can you tell us what those are? Yeah, so now you can actually access, say if you have a Redshift cluster running in a private subnet, um, you can access it um, using QuickSight, which would run in a private subnet. So prior to this announcement, you would have QuickSight was sort of outside, mm -hmm. um, you know, that public subnet, sort of as a public service, if you will. Yep. So now again, you have to, ha you know, rig something up to actually access that Redshift cluster in the private subnet. And now, you know, you don't have to anymore once uh, once this. Uh, announcement is available. It's in preview at the moment. Mm -hmm. I've requested access, so let's see if I get it. Um, and once I do, I'll be happy to share it with uh, the gurus out there on how you can actually set that up. Excellent. And yeah, we're seeing a continuing trend where more and more services are getting uh, private endpoints within uh, the VPCs, which is great. And I believe QuickSight also got um, HIPAA uh, compliance. It's now under the attestation for that, which you can get yeah. in uh, Amazon Artifact um, within the AWS console. Um, so tons of stuff going on this week. Um, absolutely crazy, jam-packed. Um, you know, it's a, just a conference full of 12, 14-hour, 18-hour days. Hopefully there's an end to your day. It is Vegas, so there is the risk of going all night and continuing through. Um, everyone has a different viewpoint on it. Uh, Sanjay, I'd love to know, what was your big takeaway? What was your highlight? Uh, whether it's a service, uh, people, um, a venue, something. What was a big, uh, big um, highlight for you this week? Yeah, absolutely. So this is my sixth reInvent but even a pro can learn. Yeah. So the best lesson I learned is if you want good swag, you follow around. Well, if you want good swag, follow Nick. Okay. Um, so I don't have 35 pairs of socks. I think it was close Maybe to that. I have half those, but it's all a credit to Nick. Okay. So that was great. Yeah. Uh, but what I, you know, besides the replay party, um, you know, all the sessions, what I love about reInvent the most is just connecting with people. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're a global team. Um, these conferences allow us to get together. Okay. Uh, we get to share ideas, we get to build uh, a rapport and get to know each other more and have lots of fun. Mm -hmm. um, you get to see you know, friends like you. Yep. Um, I get to see some AWS friends. Um, most importantly, we get to meet our students, mm -hmm. which is great, right? That's the end game is to um, have people who love our courses and uh, when they tell you in person that they appreciate what you do, yep. I think that's a lot of fun. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, Gurus, tons of great stuff to dive into on big data. Really, this year was the um, evolution of big data. We saw a lot of new services last year. This year, those services are going to the next level. Um, a lot of practical stuff that's useful for day to day. Um, Sanjay's got tons of experience in the field. And when he says something is extremely useful, trust me, it absolutely is. Lots of discussion going down on the forums. Um, lots more content exclusive to uh, eCloud Guru members like yourself. Um, stay tuned. We'll see you soon.